Hi everyone, this is Marianne here from Revealing Light, uh, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Um, I wanted to quickly look at Hurricane Ian. Um, of course, the water cards came up in my reading the other day. Thank you also for those who um, support this channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it uh, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, okay, so uh, Hurricane Ian is expected to hit landfall uh, tomorrow uh, and of course Cuba now is without power the governor of Florida Ron DeSantis is playing um, playing nice at this time I think there was an orb just there uh, you know it's close to an election he's saying they're working with the federal uh, authorities FEMA uh, to get on top of this, manage uh, what looks like an impending disaster. Now, when I opened up for this reading, I again got agricultural animals. So I think we're, going, we're probably going to see, even though I'm, I'm assuming agricultural animals, cows, sheep, horses, uh, not sheep, but cows, horses, um, is there an equestrian centre somewhere? Are there something to do with... Um, you know, animals being stranded, for example, and uh, people being homeless and, and literally having to, you know, losing ID, that sort of thing, and um, and kind of having to, you know, be scanned to get admittance into somewhere, um, processed almost. Um, so there's some of the images that are coming uh, to me. This has something to do with animals, though. Animals, water, getting stranded. Um, six of Pentacles, giving and receiving help. A lot of people are going to need help. Um, this is also loans. Uh, I think FEMA, does FEMA do loans? That's enacted as well. People uh, are going to need to be helped financially. Um, all right, let's just see. Uh, Hurricane Ian is, just show me Hurricane Ian when it hits landfall, when it hits Florida. Show me Hurricane Ian when it hits Florida, please. Show me Hurricane Ian at when it hits Florida and the damage that it may do. Will it cause extensive damage? Will Hurricane Ian cause extensive damage in Florida? Bridges, something around bridges uh, and people getting from A to B is going to be hard. So uh, Seven of Wands, a standing ground and defending oneself. I mean, I've been through two actual house floods where the water came through the house and multiple times when it lapped at the door. I know, I know that feeling, um, flooding, temperance, moderation uh, levels being found. So... It it may there may be some time before before we get that uh, it's like an ebb and a flow um, temperance moderation standing one's ground four of wands is families um, and I, I also wonder how Mar-a-Lago is going to fare because sometimes that can be my card for Mar-a-Lago as well. I don't know if it's in the path of this hurricane or what. I know it's by the sea. I don't know where the hurricane is expected to uh, hit. I only know the clairvoyant images that I have been receiving. Queen of Wands is in the past. So preparations, people have been preparing for this. Um, there is a plan, a strategy, uh, a lot of mobilisation. Something's being mobilised. We have the King of Cups. What's been mobilised is, of course, is uh, President Biden. He's going to have to declare something at the end of the day. That's a potential for a disaster. Is it a disaster declaration? It's only a potential at this stage. The Four of uh, Swords is, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, a damage. Um, it's like that kind of wounded in battle type image comes to mind um i hope that everybody really does stay safe this is retreating to higher ground as well 
The Ten of Cups in the here and now. So we've got the family card. It's also the voters. Uh, and the Seven of Cups, choices. The choices that they've made. I feel that DeSantis prior to this has made the situation worse because he hasn't done something. He's made poor choices. The Ace of Wands in the hopes and fears. So that that's that there, there, there's, there's a plan in place for this. Ten of Swords. I can't say. I'd like to say that's the card of ruin, ruination. I, I, I think that there's going to be some damage here that the Eight of Swords restriction. So, you know, outages, roads being cut, could even be supply lines being held up as a result. Uh, and the Two of Wands, something coming to fruition in time. I'm hearing that they they didn't do enough, that they should have known that, that, that this was going to happen and that somehow somebody dropped the ball. That's also something coming to fruition in time. There's going to be a lot of work needed to recover. And we have the Hermit, Isolation, Introspection, uh, and, of course, the Hierophant, the government, there's going to be a lot of fingers pointed at Ron DeSantis and things that he didn't do. The Chariot, things happening very, very quickly, judgment and inevitability, and people feeling like they've been deceived through why this Knight of Cups, quick energy that comes in, gets the vote and doesn't govern the way that they should. Page of Pentacles, you know, there's not enough mitigation work that's been done. Something crucial fails and they blame DeSantis for it. Look, I may be right. I may be wrong. I'm not always right. In fact, you know, it's I will, I've, sort of put a figure on it of, you know, 80% mostly right, 20% wrong. I hope I'm wrong about this, but I see a lot of finger pointing at the end of the day at Ron DeSantis. So if you're anywhere in the zone where they feel it's going to hit, get yourself to higher ground. I think just play it safe. Play it safe. All right, that's all I've got for you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.